Do you think there are aliens right now on planet Earth? Fuck yeah. Really? Oh my God, yeah, definitely. I don't, I believe in UFOs, but I don't believe in like the little greens. Well, I don't know about the little greens. I have no idea what they would look like, but here's what I believe. Here's what I believe. Green and little, I assume. I believe that we have alien life currently living in the natural order. Like I think maybe an octopus or even these little microbials. It could be microbial. Could be from other planets. Because here's, here's, here's the way I look at it, right? All of the rules that Earth follows are the same rules in outer space, right? You think? It's weird, right? You know, you can have a solar sail. What's that? You can make a sail like a ship that captures sun waves and it pushes the ship like a sail on the ocean, but in outer space. You can have a sail. You see what I mean? So there's like layers to oh, similarity. So you're saying like the laws of our planet apply, like gravity and Yeah, like and the stuff. logic of the laws yes. of our planet. Yes, okay, so like- Until it doesn't, it's not logical. So like, well, right? within, our, within our Milky Way, like gravity is universal. Well, just like- Some planets have right. more and less, but like gravity exists. Right, but just like how animals live in caves and never leave, right? Mm-hmm. And then there's birds that fly. Mm-hmm. I believe that there are animals that stay on planet Earth and there are animals that fly from planet to planet. You see what I'm saying? So the scale of variability is is there and possible in, in the great scheme of life. So that being said, I think it's probable that two things happen. One, there are definitely aliens out there. And two, we're, we're, we're sought out because we are extraordinarily special, right? Yeah. We're not a normal planet at all. Do you know what's funny? One of the things- It's very weird. I worry about, <laughs> this, is so stu- this is so stupid, is uh, not that I- I will I will get abducted by aliens, but that if I ever did get abducted by aliens, no one would believe me. I think about that sometimes yeah, when you're wouldn't. watching these shows with they people who are like, oh, I was kidnapped and flown into space and they <clears throat> did test on me and sent back down to earth. And you first thought everything's okay. He's they're a bit of a looney tune, yep. but they're not. But what if it's real? I feel so bad. Can you imagine how stressful that would be if something like that happened to you and everyone was like, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, no one would believe you. Yeah. Literally, no I think even people you. who would be like, no, I believe you are just saying that they yeah. believe that you think that. Yeah, right. But they don't actually believe it happened. Right. Yeah, they don't believe that you got anally pro. But they believe it's real to you. Right. So they'll be like, I believe you, but they don't actually believe you. Right. Yeah. I think that that's possible. <laughs> that's so scary. It is scary. It's not the kidnapping of aliens and getting tests on. It's the fact that you could come back down to earth and the rest of your life, like no one would believe you. You know, you know what's a, you, that would fuck with your head. Yeah, you know what's a crazy thought? What? Our idea of alien life, I think, is mythologized, but we already have proof that life exists in outer space. Yeah, I once read that those little, like, um, you know, those bears, those like microbial. Have you ever seen this before? I forget the name of them, but they're these the tiny, tiny, tiny microbial living beings that when you zoom in on them, they look like tiny bears. I think I've they seen. They look like yeah. tiny bears yeah. in, in a Michelin man outfit. Yeah, yeah, right. Or almost like a hazmat suit. That's what it looks like, a fucking hazmat suit. Okay. They survive in a volcano. They survive in the bottom of the ocean. And apparently, they survive outside in outer space. I read that they did a swab on the International Space Station and they found Earth life, like exuding out from the planet, like breath. Maybe it's like in a burp. Like a burp. Yeah. It's like Men in Black where they open the world and they're getting smaller and smaller. You remember that scene in Men in Black? That scene was so good. And, and they go all in and in and in. Yeah. yeah. And then you realize it's like getting tiny, tiny. It's such a great scene. I don't know if that's inaccurate. 